So x will equal, we write this one, a negated, b, c, plus next one, a, mm, multiplied by b negated, c negated. Next one, a, multiplied by b negated, c. Then next one, a, b, c negated. And last one, just a, b, c. Yeah, five of them. That's that's what we need. But oh my, it's it's a big one. It doesn't look it doesn't look any kind of this one. It ju it's just different. What the hell? Why is it different? Yeah, but how different it is? We 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 haven't simplified that. Let let's just try to simplify that before saying such statements. What can we do? Oh, I see. We have A's all around. We have A here and here and here and here. Let's just take, leave the first term and afterwards take A's out of brackets everywhere. Let's do that. We take A out of brackets. In the side brackets, we have uh, this B negated, C negated, B negated, C plus B, C negated plus B, C. Oh, what we see here, now we can take b negated out of brackets. So let's do that. We rewrite a negated b negated c plus a brackets and we take b negated out of brackets. And we have b negated in brackets, we have c negated plus c. You see. And let's take b here out of brackets. And inside brackets we get again c negated plus c. Wow, that's a big field for simplification because you know. You, you, you should remember that some variable plus some variable negated is always one. So this guy will be one. And this <laughs> this is exactly the same guy will also equal one. You remember this from our first videos on Boolean algebra. You I bet you do. Then we rewrite the whole thing. A negated multiplied by B by C. Then A and in brackets we we have just we don't have this one, they equal to 1, and they are multiplied by some variable. Then we write this variable, in this case it's b negated plus b. Oh, and we, we can, we see that this one is exactly as this one, and we can apply our rule that some variable plus the same variable negated is always 1. And let's, uh, let's write it down the, what we have here. Of uh, a negated uh, b c plus a. Whoa! I think that's that's pretty much what you can get out of this one. But no, no, no. You see, it's it's pretty different than our initial one, and it should be the same. Hmm. But I know what we can do. Last, our last handy rule will help us. Our last handy rule, I will just rewrite it here, was that a plus a negated b equals a plus b. And we, in the last video, we just uh, uh, we proved that using truth tables. And now, now I will rewrite this uh, expression so that it will be more obvious to you. A plus a negated b c. You see, we can we can apply this rule to this expression. Is is it, it is like this is a and this is a negated from this expression and this is uh, b. Yeah, we can apply our last handy rule and we will get uh, a plus b c. Whoa, that looks. For me, that looks exactly like like the initial one. A plus B C. We uh, we had in the beginning we had this uh, expression, and we first we did a truth table out of this expression, and then we made uh, an, this exactly same expression out of truth table. Yeah, that's what we did. And uh, 
now, right now you must see that making an expression a simplified a really simple expression out of the truth table is a bit more complicated than making a truth table from expression but it's extremely useful and that's what people do uh, every day uh, if they are if they design digital hardware basically they ah i will tell you afterwards in some other lecture about digital hardware because that, that's where we are going right now soon we'll be designing our own digital hardware our micro microprocessors uh, and uh, stuff like that so we have fun now but we have even more fun in future in some future videos made by me see you guys have fun